with us now is Dennis O'Sullivan, and he is with Insignus. Welcome to our show. How are you? Wonderful. Glad to be here. Great. Did you grow up being like a good saver and a good spender, or how did that come about for you? Um, I would say that I'm one of eight kids. Okay. And last name's O'Sullivan. Uh, <laughs> there's a joke behind that. We'll get that later. And uh, we kind of really just got by. And at age 46, my dad died of a heart attack. And my mom, being 43, she had eight kids wow. at home. And what, we, what she realized is, you know, she's got to get by. And what clicked for me was the fact that I remember a nice gentleman in a nice suit stopping by the house, and he gave my mom some checks. And back then, at 16, I didn't really know what that meant. Found out it was life insurance. So mom was able to be a mom, raise the kids, and got the kids off to school, and we're all doing very well right now. And that's because your dad knew to plan early on? Yeah. And is that one of the things that you do uh, is to help your customers or your clients, I guess you would say, um, kind of plan, plan their life? Yeah, what, what, I've, what I've come to see, and I've been doing this about 25 years now, and what I've come to see is conventional planning really has done great damage to the American people. And if I can say anything, you know, if, if conventional planning is over here, we're at the complete opposite spectrum of it. Okay. And, and the reason why is conventional planning focuses on rate of return, uh, chasing the market, being in the market. It's not talking about a holistic, wide-angle view, taking a look at everything that's going on inside a client's financial life. And I really don't think it's done great damage. And, and the, the proof is in the numbers. We're sitting here last year, 55% of Americans didn't save a single penny last year. We have 78 million baby boomers near in retirement, and more than 90% of them don't have let, they don't have more than $100,000 in a retirement account. So you just look at what's going on, these people are being set up for failure. And I really had my aha moment, I guess, about six or seven years ago, and I realized what I had been doing was just like everybody else. Hmm. And I got introduced to a philosophy that was uniquely different, and it really takes a, I said it before, a wide-angle view to money, and we're really looking at not just at investments and rate of return, we're looking at the whole picture making sure they're protected properly, making sure their cash flow is appropriate. Most people in this country, they look at their cash flow and they don't understand it first and foremost. And I use the term reverse cash flow, where they take their net income, they spend it on lifestyle, then they take on liabilities to maintain that lifestyle, then they worry about savings, and then they worry about protection. And I call that reverse cash flow. Okay, so what do you think would be the, how do you? The exact opposite. Okay. You have to establish protections first. And then once that's established, then and only then can we save properly. And our goal for clients that work for a company, they should be saving about 15% of their income. 15%. 15%. And that's whether or not your company still matches anything. Just exactly take 15% right. off and yep. you pay, pay yourself. Pay yourself first. Pay yourself first. Uh, if you're a business owner, and I tend to work predominantly with business owners, is they should be striving for 20 to 25 percent because they don't have that match. They are that match. Yeah, they are them. That so they have to be doing more for themselves and then ultimately have to have proper mortgage selection, eliminate credit card debt. That is the kiss of death in this country right now. It's that credit card debt is so high. And if they do that that way, it's more of a budgeted lifestyle, they're gonna, they'll, they'll be fine. They'll win the game of life. How, how did we as a generation kind of get off track? I actually think it's our industry's fault. Okay. I really do believe that, is that our industry got away from saving that 15%. Go back two generations ago. They were saving 15%. They had pensions. There was no credit card debt. They, whatever they bought, they bought with cash. And our industry said, hey, guess what? I can go get you, Don, I can get you 15% in the market. So you don't have to save 15%. You only need to save five. Mm -hmm. So now they're saving five. So they're under saving. They're under protected, hoping for this rate of return to get where they want to go. And then just look what's happened in the last 10 years. The last 10 years, we call it the lost decade. There's been no wealth growth over the last decade. And just think about that person who retired early in, in 2000, thinking they were going to live this wonderful lifestyle. All of a sudden, 2008 happens. They lost 40% of their portfolio, and they're sitting here broke. What are some tips that we can offer to the audience that are like a simple way of beginning? Like what's a first step for them? Well, first step I really think is that they, they've got to see what they have first and foremost. Okay. Let's take a snapshot. Where are you today? And then, and then what, again, our big belief is you've got to protect first in many different areas. It means having wills. It means having proper property and casualty protections, having an umbrella policy. So our belief is protect first, 
then save, then invest and grow. Beautiful. And it just makes perfect sense. And maybe spend a little bit along the way. Have a oh, little bit of fun in life, right? And, 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 and the beauty of this is, <clears throat> and that's a great point, I don't ever want to think, right. I don't want to take uh, people's uh, ability to enjoy life now. A lot of the strategies and products that we bring to the table, we weave them in because we find that that cash flow is so out of whack that we can just clean up the cash flow. A lot of times we can improve their balance sheet and they, they're not going into net income for a penny. And a lot of times we actually improve their current cash flow so they can have a better life today while being better prepared for tomorrow. I love it. Dennis, thank you so much for being here. I know you speak all over the world. You, you, yeah. you really love to help people, and I know that's where your passion is. Um, and so how could people find you? How could they reach you? Well, uh, we have a uh, website. Okay. It's insignisfinancial.com. It's okay. I-N-S-I-G-N-I-S, financial.com. Uh, tons of uncommon knowledge will be there on the website. Uh, there will be information that they can just kind of look around. There's going to be free information there. Uh, it's a place that they can begin to get a better, better picture of what's going on in their financial life. Fabulous. And I mean, I, I've even taken some of your tips too because I, I myself don't have a will. I mean, and that's, I, I, you, know, I, I, you know, I can, I, I'll be honest, you know, I'll be honest and I'll just say I need help too. We all need help. So thank you for spending some time with thank us. Thank you so much. And please come back again. We, we'd love to have you back with some real good resources and tips for everyone. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for more. We'll be right back.